Hey everybody, it's Devin here again, talking to the world. So today's episode, we're going to talk about a couple of things like seeing through other people's eyes. What I mean is that um, we live every day in our own lives, doing what we always want, doing the way that we feel. But we never really think about what other people's feeling. We never really see through other people's eyes. We always tend to think about ourselves, and that's kind of a human thing. It's kind of like a human greed type deal. So, um, I thought it'd be a good idea just to talk a little bit about it to help you familiarize and kind of get yourself kind of aware. Because, you know, we don't always tend to realize that we notice a couple of things or even look at it. Especially, say you tend to do something that you think that will benefit you, but what you don't realize that may not benefit somebody else. Why most families like to have their brothers and sisters to have like equal or common grounds to make sure they don't fight over something, but they got better. I mean, I know what that's like. I mean, I, in my early years with me and my brother, we tend to fight over a lot of stuff, whatever. We don't get the same thing. We're not not so my mother would always try to get us the exact same thing just to prevent that. And that's one thing, because we're human and we tend to be jealous about everything. And we look at things that we don't even realize and why we're always jealous about it. I think it's more of a need of wanting rather than the need of needing. I mean, if you see someone has, I don't know, um, an Xbox One, but you don't have one. And you kind of feel jealous because you see the way it looks and everything. Until eventually you get yourself an Xbox One then you'll feel jealous anymore, and at the same time, you kind of don't really feel anything at all. You're just like, oh, now I have it. What do I know now? Now you got nothing better things to do. <laughs> like, you really don't have anything better things to do. Hey, AJ. Just sitting here with me? Hmm? Yeah. So, that's kind of one thing, is that we tend to do things ourselves that we, we are greedy. I mean, you cannot lie there. Like, like, we are greedy people. We want things, and we always want something. Like, no matter if we have just any necessity to keep us alive, we always want something more. And it's kind of a human thing to do, rather than we realize what we're really doing. And I just want you to be aware of, like, if you notice someone who feels bad or sad or upset or angry, don't... Don't try to deteriorize them from what they're feeling. Try to understand them. Look at their perspective and find out why they're upset. Rather than, you know, feeling the flames, like pouring in all the crap that they don't even really need or spice things up that they don't necessarily effortlessly want. Like, say, for instance, you work in a career building and you want that managed position job and that other person wants it. But you don't really realize that person probably wanted more than you, or that person doesn't realize you wanted more. So it's kind of hard to tell what is important and what's not. I mean, you know that person wants it, and you never really wanted it to begin with. But yet you still did it anyways. Why? Because there's a higher pay grade, better job, better whatever that will good on your resume. And the end, that other person kind of feels crap because they didn't get what they needed. Or what they believe they deserved. And that's kind of an important thing to look at. Is to notice. None of people what they want. And not try to take advantage. Because there will be people. Who's going to take advantage of everything. Once they know your little secret. They're going to take grip the whole of it. And they're going to try. To do whatever they can. To use it against you. No matter what. I mean that happens to me many times. And I hate to say it, I've done it myself. When I was in high school, I have done it. And I'm never really proud of it. No. I mean, if, if you think about it, everybody has done it. Everybody. I can't think of anybody who would not want to have done it. <laughs> to take advantage of other people to do it. But once you get older, you tend to get a little bit wiser. Not really. Once you get older, you tend to realize something. You kind of learn from it. And you try to make not make any of their mistakes. And each and every mistake that we try to learn and not to make, we have to do better. We have to be better. I mean, we are humans. We are meant to adapt and we are meant to evolve to be better. And the better we become, 
the more suitable for our society to be and the better future that we'll get. And that way we can cheat and still let our children know the difference from right and wrong. I mean, like, um, it's, like I've mentioned before, it's about respect. It's about honesty. It's about understanding. If you don't want to respect somebody, that person's going to know it right off the bat. Like, that person knows that you don't want to respect them and don't want to do it, and they're going to try to piss you off. Just much as you want to piss off that person. I mean, there is one person in my life that I tend to always piss off. And it's not really on purpose. It's just more of a feeling. Like, that person kind of annoys you or tends to piss you off for no apparent reason. Or there may be reasons behind it. But yet, you just do it like it's a natural thing. And I think that's one of the wrong things we know in our society is that we become so accustomed and so natural with people being rude and inconsiderate and taking advantage of other people that there really no, is no trust. So you think it's normal to do something like that. Well, I know it's not normal. And I know that other people it's not either. And it's not... I can't really say it's a wrong, it's not a wrong thing to do. I mean, everything has an equal balance. As I mentioned long, long back in my early series, that everybody has a difference. Thank you. <laughs> everybody has a difference what they view on what's right and wrong. And that's kind of a thing that we don't tend to fully understand. And that's something we're going to talk about later on about knowing what's right and wrong, but here we just want to understand from one another is to look at other people from their view, from their, in their own shoes, to see how they feel and how they feel their own perspective. I mean, there are moments that you can tell how they feel because you've been through it yourself, and therefore you, it sucks, it feels sucks, but you tend to make it better, you tend to do better. And you help them give them advice, especially if you've been through something like that. And really, as a human, we should help each other learn from each other and better ourselves from it. So that way we don't become a monster that we always have been for many millenniums. I mean, with all these mythologies and lores and supernatural entities and stuff like that, it kind of makes sense the way it's going and the way it sounds all the way up to this present day by the things that we have always done. I mean, the one of the most common things is war. War is the one thing that would never go. No matter how bad you wanted to end it, no matter how bad that you need the peace, the peace will never be kept. The war will always go. The war is something that we cannot naturally turn off. There's always something to fight about. I mean, I've heard from history that there were some country or cities that fought over a bucket. I don't remember what it was, but I remember learning in the history class in high school that there were people fighting over because of a bucket. It's weird and it's not really make any sense, but it happens. And that's what I mean. We do we tend to do the stupidest thing for the stupidest reason just to keep our ego. To keep our momentum. Like we do things that other people don't want to or want to, but we have to keep our image we have to keep ourselves looking good rather than being bad especially that's what i mean like you don't really realize until you've been in that situation and really what you see from their point of view because if you don't you're going to learn it the hard way you're going to see it from their point of view you're going to see it anyways why not to stop think and realize like i mean what i remember most when i was younger um, my uncle one of the most common things is you always say when we always get in trouble and we end up hurting somebody else that we don't realize what we're hurting. He would always say, stop, think before you do it. Think before you do. And you always say that all the time. Not that you say it anymore, but still. It's a point. I mean, you don't. we don't naturally think of what we're doing. We always tend to act on our emotions or our feelings right off the bat. But, um, really I'm just making these videos just to make an awareness, to realize and recognize that it's just not you that you want to make yourself happy. you got to make somebody around you happy, or at least make a balance or equal grounds for one another to show respect. 
I mean, if you're not going to show respect or you're not going to do anything, expect the unexpected. Well, it's been good. This is Devin talking to the world, and I will see you next week.